Conservation work in a 100-year-old estate like Vizcaya is an ongoing battle. Despite limited staff and resources, there are multiple active projects going on simultaneously, and these can sometimes take months to complete. Let's take a look at a set of five paintings from the Galleon bedroom, sent out for conservation last fall, and just reinstalled at Vizcaya this spring. Vizcaya's collections care team carefully removed each object, which was then packaged and delivered to the Art Care Conservation Studio in Wynwood for treatment. When we first get a painting, we will analyze the whole piece. First of all, we will document. We'll look at the whole painting um, in general. We'll look at the structural side of it. So if there's flicking paint, there's tears, damages, that sort of thing. And then we'll look at the surface. So is there concern for the varnish layer or uh, paint films, design layers, things like that. So we'll sort of look at it almost in two parts. The, the varnish on the Galleon room paintings has aged. So the varnish was probably put on maybe about a hundred years ago, something like that, within that range. And so it's discolored inherently, it ages and yellows. Sunlight can also speed that up. Um, but in any case, the whole painting is visually impaired by that. You can't see the details, you can't see the original artist's colors. So we, we are working on removing that. Um, through testing, and then we're kind of developing gels to remove that varnish layer fully. So this painting has already been treated from the reverse, and we have attached it to a new linen canvas. And we've started doing the, the varnish removal, as you can see here. So this line here indicates uh, where the varnish remains on this side, and where it's been cleaned. So you can see how discolored that original varnish um, has been, and the, the huge difference now, you can actually see white clouds, you can see colors in the, in the green trees, and this also has been, this is a window that we've opened up. And the house is actually pink rather than green. So I'm actually using a solvent gel to clean this varnish. I find that while I had discussed, I felt like I was just sort of breaking apart the varnish on the other surface. Now I feel like I'm, I'm really solubilizing the varnish and the paint has been taking it very well. It seems very stable. I'm getting a nice even removal. I'm just working it across the surface right now. I'm not gonna do too much. You can see those colors starting to come up really nicely. Just take some moment to pick it up. Once I'm done clearing all of this, uh, I do go over with a bit of mineral spirits and that works to deactivate the gel and just make sure if there's anything there it's not harming the surface. This is after a couple passes of the swab so there's lots of old varnish on here that is happy to come off. So the insect damage with the Galleon paintings is particularly bad. They have eaten away at the lining canvas, the original canvas and even down through the paint layer. So down here we can see this red pigment is actually the, the original ground layer. So this is the back of the paint. So what we will be doing with this one is removing the, the lining canvas and then putting inlays and fills into these losses. And then we'll reattach the whole thing to a new canvas. Facing tissue protects the paint layer while we work from the reverse. And these additional pieces, these are actually over the, uh, the areas of loss. So you can see through, um, this is just loss of paint move through here. This is just loss of paint. So all these will be filled and then they'll be retouched. Stay tuned for part two as we take a look at the finished product. Leave your questions in the comments and follow along for more conservation and restoration projects at Vizcaya.